जय श्री राम वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर हाउ सनातनी आर यू क्वेश्चन है सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू मेक ए नॉट बिकॉज वी आर डूइंग दिस एज एन एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड यू आर ऑल ज्वाइनिंग मी इन दिस एक्टिविटी इवेंचुअली वी विल स्केल इट डाउन एंड ट्राई टू इम्प्रूव इट सो दिस इज अ मीटर आई डो नॉट नो वॉट नेम टू गिव इट वी कैन कॉल इट सनातनी मीटर लाइक अ थर्मोमीटर Hindu meter. This is the Hindu meter. Okay, so let us start. I already asked you two questions. What are Purusharthas and what is the meaning of Hinam Dusha Yati Iti Hindu? Uh, from Meru Tantra, that's a definition. Okay, which means uh, a Hindu means anyone who makes every effort to eliminate all kinds of crime or you know degenerated, uh, vulgar or depraved behavior. So. Uh, a person who tries to instill satvic uh, tendencies uh, create a satvic uh, milieu or environment so that is hinam dusha yati iti hindu okay so well we all know that the word hindu is actually given by the uh, you know arabs uh, people living on the other side of river sindhu and all that is there fine no problem so we are bharatas uh, what is the meaning of the word bharata third question actually bharata bharata if you don't know you lose 10 points third question so if you know you get 10 points bharata means one who is immersed in knowledge bha means knowledge bha means light so bharata so you are a bharata which means you are immersed in knowledge so this is the only society <laughs> worldwide which is immersed in knowledge i don't want to take names you all understand why i don't want to get nupurd Uh, for speaking the truth though our national motto is satyameva jayate uh, now we have to be very careful <laughs> satyameva will lead you to all kinds of problems so political correctness eva jayate and i don't like that so political correctness you must be knowing what it means uh, saying things uh, in a way that don't offend anybody i personally believe in being politically incorrect uh, i'll tell you the truth provided you are a person who is willing to listen and if i sense that you are not one i just do namaste and go away so uh, the third question uh, we asked what was the third question we asked okay that was the third question and uh, uh, what is the meaning of bharata bharata rata means one who revels in enjoys delights in so if you are a true hindu you will be a seeker you will have a voracious thirst for knowledge not only spiritual knowledge secular knowledge all types of knowledge not dogmas we will develop we, hindu by nature has a tremendous critical thinking ability unfortunately because of the influence of these desert cults we have lost our capacity and many of our hindu brothers and sisters are worshiping all kinds of uh, you know <laughs> uh, uh, if the in the bhagavad gita krishna condemns all these people anyway i don't want to get into that now so that is bharata fourth question uh, uh, i would like to ask you how do you greet people uh, i think if you are a true hindu you should say ram ram or jai shri ram in gujarat they say jai shri krishna so if you are still saying good evening hello then i think uh, you are shy and defensive so you should Uh, people of other religions they greet uh, their uh, people in their own mode by that way by, by japanese uh, greet uh, in japanese uh, german greet other other people in german language and interestingly people of several such language uh, countries though they know english they won't speak because they love their mother tongue so much unfortunately we indians have developed uh, a strange disease uh, we think that english is our father tongue english has become our father tongue dad god damn it <laughs> so how do you greet others is the next question if you are not greeting others jai shri ram or jai shri krishna or ram 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 then you lose point 10 points next question how many spiritual books have you read yeah if you have not read any you lose points okay next question are you a vegetarian <laughs> you may not like this question but you see mamsaha is the term in sanskrit mas in hindi in telugu mas actually the word mas etymologically means i will become you ma ma matlab mai saha means you that means the animal 
that is being killed uh, will kill you in the next birth that's the very meaning of meat now meat eating veda does not allow uh, there are so many fake narratives that uh, brahmins were eating beef and all that the veda says antakaya go ghatam antakaya go ghatam make a note which means anybody who kills a cow should be put to death pashun pahi pashun pahi save the animals so veda is completely opposed to meat eating eh? and unfortunately yes sayanacharya medha titi they have been some of our own people who mis- misread the vedas so for that matter please study satyartha prakash uh, the magnum opus of swami dayananda saraswati founder of arya samaj so you will understand why meat eating is completely forbidden in hinduism and especially today these days people are lining up outside uh, uh, these fellows shops <laughs> they are spitting on everything and our poor humble uh, gullible hindu brothers they are lining up there on sunday that too you, you should not eat is the first thing and on sunday you should actually be a little more spiritual eh? on that day they go and eat so please be a vegetarian don't make your stomach a graveyard so if you are still not a vegetarian you lose 10 points if you are a vegetarian you get 10 points remember global warming one of the main reason of global warming is uh, fossil fuels burning and carbon dioxide getting increased right and why is that happening because deforestation why is deforestation being done because land is being created to feed the animals pasture land so if people in the world all become vegetarians then there will be no deforestation no carbon dioxide and no global warming so this is as simple as that by the way water footprint have you any idea for 1 kilo of beef 50000 liters is what it takes to create 1 kilo of beef for chicken it is 6000 for mutton it is some 8000 for rice it is 2500 liters per kilo of rice for wheat it is 1500 for vegetables it is 200 so there are so many other by the way human body also is so designed uh, uh, it is similar to a herbivore so uh, don't be a carnivore <laughs> carnivores have a shorter intestine we have a very long intestine which is similar to herbivores so so how can you by the way can you kill the animal yourself eh? uh, can you kill the chicken or goat yourself with your own hand squeeze the neck don't use a knife also why do you use a knife eh? can you kill no no because that lamb or that chicken they also have their own family i was a meat eater at one time <laughs> now i Uh, dread to think of it hmm? but you know taste uh, once you get addicted to meat eating it's very difficult to manushmiti says meat is very tasty manu says meat is very tasty and he also says uh, the biggest sacrifice is not eating meat and uh, manu also says it's very difficult once you start eating meat to get rid of it so please get rid of it okay so you can't kill the chicken yourself eh? uh, and uh, so you can't uh, take a knife and uh, slit the <laughs> it is like hiring a supari killer eh? contract killer so here you are hiring somebody else manu actually says in the manusmiti the fellow who kills the animal the fellow who quarters the animal the fellow who buys the animal buy the meat eh? sells the meat brings it home cooks eh? serves and eats all are equally guilty of the crime of having killed an animal you yourself will be born as a god by the way hindu theory of reincarnation <laughs> so you would end up actually eating your own relative maybe your father is born as a goat and now you are slitting his neck oh, horrible please stop eating don't make your stomach again and vegetarianism gives you great strength there are some idiots who think that you have to eat only non veg to become strong how strong is an elephant even lions will slink when they see a bull elephant right so don't give me this logic that meat is necessary for strength so we will stop this or we will ask one more question so do you uh, love india if you love you get 10 points because india is a land of prophets it is always you know prophets are being born eh? 
saints are being born we are actually saints all hindus are descendants of rishis eh? unfortunately because we have allowed these desert cults to influence us and we have uh, uh, lost our capacity for critical thinking hmm? in schools we have not been taught any critical thinking eh? so as a result there are so many dumb beliefs i can actually rip all these religions apart but i don't think i will ever get a chance in this country you know what happened to nupur sharma right i have finished reading their books inside out hmm? this is a sad state we hindus should understand first who is god okay i will define god in the next question right so the last question was uh, do you love india uh, india bharat is a sattvic land karma bhumi yoga bhumi bhoga bhumi <laughs> to be born in india as a hindu is itself a blessing okay gods walked on this earth so be proud to be a hindu we'll stop this here we will pick up in the next video jai shri ram please give me your feedback